Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll show you all the possible ways to reboot or restart, shut down, as well as I'll show you all the various options to factory reset the Huawei Watch GT2. So let's get started. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as you do regular videos for various smartwatches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials, and much more. Also check out our playlist tab as we have dedicated playlist for Huawei, Fossil, Samsung, and Fitbit smart watches where you'll find more detailed videos like this one so be sure to check them out. Alright let me start by briefly introducing you to certain terms like soft reset, reboot, shutdown, restart. Basically all these terms means the same and that is turning your device off and turning it on. Sometimes it is also referenced as power cycling which is ideally used for modems and routers but it means the same. So let me start by showing you how to do all of these for your Huawei Watch GT2. Basically, you will need to do a reboot if your Watch GT2 is slow, sluggish, glitchy, or you just want to turn it off to save battery life when not in use. There are a few ways to do this. The easiest way to do is to go in the menu, find the settings, go in the system, where you'll find an option to restart and power off. Clicking either or will prompt you to confirm the action. Basically when you select restart your watch will turn off and after a few seconds it will turn back on by itself and if you select power off your watch will basically shut down and you have to turn it on manually when you're ready by pressing this top right button. Doing either or will refresh your watch and this process is referenced as a soft reset or a reboot. Now there is an alternate way to do this without going into the setting. So all you have to do is click and hold the top right button until you get a pop up for restart or power off. Now once you click on any of the option you won't be prompted to confirm as it did in the first place in the settings, it'll just execute the task. What I have personally found is this way works the best if you have an unresponsive app or frozen screen. So just doing this will take you out of that frozen app and you can click restart to clear off that glitch. So if you ever get stuck in an uh, unresponsive app, don't just panic and format or reset your watch. Try this trick first as it may help. Now let's talk about some other terms like hard reset, format, factory reset, factory restore, restore to factory settings. All these basically means simply formatting the device. Sometimes it's also referenced as flashing the device. Now you probably want to format your Huawei Watch GT2 in scenarios like if you were to sell your watch or give it away to someone before you do that you want to make sure that you delete all the data before handing over your watch. Or sometimes you just want to restore your watch to the original factory settings. Moreover this is also recommended in extreme situations where your watch just goes completely unresponsive and nothing works even the above mentioned tip doesn't work at all then you can try these following tips. Now there are again few ways to do this. We will start with the easiest way assuming your screen and the buttons are responsive. Let's go back in the menu, find the settings, click on the system where you'll find option to reset. Now if you click yes when prompted your watch will basically turn off and it may take few minutes but basically everything will be erased from your watch like the contacts, call logs, music, fitness data and all. I'm not going to do it as I don't want my watch to be formatted yet. But just so you guys know, once your watch starts up, it will be just like when the watch came out of the box for the first time. So you have to reconnect and set it up as a new device for which I have done a separate video and it is linked up here in case if you guys want to check it out once you're done watching this one. Now let's say for instance the screen is unresponsive and you tried to reboot uh, as discussed earlier during this video and nothing works and you are left with no other option than you, you have two options over here. 
I would say before starting this, make sure to put the watch in charging for a few minutes to make sure that your watch has enough juice to do the entire process. Number one, you can do it from the mobile phone in case if the watch is completely unresponsive. So go in the mobile device, open the Huawei mobile app. On the bottom panel, click on the devices, click on the watch GT2. Scroll all the way down to find the option to restore to factory settings. Now once you click it, you will be prompted to confirm and upon confirming, your watch will be disconnected from the health app and formatted which will remove all the fitness data, settings, even music and contacts from your watch completely. Once the watch starts up, you have to pair it with the mobile device as a new device as discussed earlier during this video. Before you do this, I will caution you that you need to make sure that your watch is connected, which you can find it in the devices section uh, over here, as even when the watch is unresponsive or any app is frozen, the watch will still be connected to the phone and it will show up over here. If for any reason the watch is not connected, then don't go through this route. In that case, you're left with no other option than this one, where you have to press and keep holding the top right button for about 15 seconds. Again, I'm not going to do this, but doing this will turn off the watch and turn on again, after which you have to connect it as a new device to your mobile device. This is the last resort and hopefully this should fix all the glitches. So that's it. I have done an in-depth review for the Huawei Health app, which is linked up here in case you guys want to check it out. And please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.